Alright, Drowners. There you are. Alright. So he's gonna show up if we kill enough Drowners. Supposedly. So let's try it. Alright. There's two. I wonder how many we have to kill. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see if I can stun him. There we go. What is this, four? Come on, get up. There we go. Alright, there's four, Mr. Thief. How long are you going to take to, uh... Hmm, who are they fighting? Looks like a Scoyatel. Okay. There we go. And just, who are you? Go, Dwan. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Still not getting along with them too well. That's understandable. Oh. Can I not? Okay, I guess I gathered all those. Alright. I didn't get these guys. Yeah, I want to make sure I gather these because they have ingredients to make health potions, so... Right, um, now it's pointing over here. Okay, we have to just follow the the waypoints here. I gotcha. Maybe we have to take the boat now? Out to the island? Looks like that might be the case. Hmm. Oh, look at the sky. Yep. Looks like it. Don't get stuck. Here we go. Okay. Black Turn Island. I like the music in this chapter so far. Um, it's got a got a sense of awe and wonder about it. All right, drowners, let's do this. Oh God, don't drown, Geralt. Hi. Right. Here we go. <laughs> that was easy. All right, let's get our reward here. Get our spoils. Here we go. All right. Where's the last one? Okay. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Look at all these lilies. I think I'm gonna like this chapter. A lot more cheery and upbeat. Oh, hi. Oh, the Lady of the Lake. Welcome, Geralt. Forgive me. I don't remember your name. For you do not know it, but I know you. By reputation. I should warn you, Dandelion takes many liberties in his ballads. I have confidence in my source. The mermaid, Sheenaz. Mermaid? Yes. Why are you surprised? What did Sheenaz tell you? That you prevented conflict between the Prince of Adlival and the inhabitants of the underwater city of Iz. Thanks to you and your friends, humans and the Vaudianoi of Iz tolerate one another. Encouraging. I hope all goes well here. Sheenaz mentioned your intelligence. I invite you to use it. Speak with the Vaudianoi chaplain and the human named Julian. 
Who are you? They call me the Lady of the Lake. Is that a talkative fisherman your servant? Servant, no. Women on occasion need men. To secure food and protection, naturally. I see. <laughs> Hosts of knights once defended my honor. But that was long ago. My poor, sickly fisher king alone remains. Yeah, um... Well... So she's some sort of goddess creature? Lady of the lake, but... She still needs a man... <laughs> to serve and protect her. Naturally, of course. These are her words, not mine. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. My lady, they say I returned to life but lost my memory. Can you help me? I know you didn't return by chance. First, you must answer. Do you believe in destiny? I am master of my own fate. I trust that in uttering those words you understand their weight. Rejecting destiny renders you responsible for all your choices, good and bad. So be it. Strong in character, indeed. You will regain your identity. I honor your wish to forge your fate. Know that you bear both my blessing and my favor. Thank you, milady. I have one more question. Yes? Milady, what happened to those hosts in shining armor? I fought the legend of the Holy Grail. My bold knights, I know not why, determined to embark on a mission. They claimed it their destiny to find the Holy Grail. Alas, my powers cannot vanquish destiny. I failed at guiding the poor wretches onto the right path. The Grail was never found? Just so. Know you the legend of the Grail? I lost my memory. Speak with a hermit watching over the graves of those brave seekers. Though boring, he knows the Grail's legend perfectly. I'll visit him. If you return intent on a mission of paramount importance, believe me. I can be unpleasant. Hmm. Huh. Farewell. Alright, um, hmm. So it's pointing back this way. Let's see if we can finish up that Drowner quest. So do we have to go back to the other side again? I guess so. This is where it's pointing anyway. Huh. So, back and forth we go. I'm gonna see if I can skip this. There we go. Yeah, it was it was pretty the first time. Don't need to sit through it again. Or this one. Okay. Alright, so, so it's pointing <laughs> back over there again. So I guess we're just wandering back and forth. Um, okay, he's stuck. Alright. Uh, it's pointing more. No, it's pointing to a different place this time. Hmm, where can we get around here? Let's see. Maybe it's leading me to the thief this time? Let's see. Okay. Oh, whoa. No. No, Wyvern. Don't want to play. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thought I stunned it. Oh, God. What style? Not that one. Fast style. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Nope, still not stunned. 
right. Well, it still hasn't damaged me. That's good. But I'm afraid they have a stun effect. But I did invest some points into stun resistance. So, stun or poison? Not sure which. Maybe both? Huh. Okay. Okay, let's see. I am still st I'm still tracking the same quest, right? Yeah. Okay, so I probably have to kill drowners in the three locations and then he's going to show up. Fireplace, okay. Oh, there's a corpse over here. Mm, there's a flutter. I'll be back there, I'm sure. <laughs> I'd rather go ahead and finish up this quest, though. Okay. Road to Murky Waters. Okay, it's pointing here. Alright. Gerald. Hey. Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me, too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh... Hmm... Dandelion. Something specific? <laughs> well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there are the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up. Huh. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna head off in this direction oh there's a little village there alright oh blacksmith okay haven't upgraded a sword in a while All right, this should be the last location. Where are they at? Hmm. Let's see. Do I need to cross the river here? No, maybe not. Oh, there they are right there. Yeah, just waiting for me. All right. Oh, not in group style. There we go. Oh, here's the Zephyr. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> see if I can stun him here. There we go. No, guess not. Oh my. Oh my. It's a bit of a tough one. May have to use a swallow here. Definitely have to use a swallow here. Oh god, no. It wore off. Alright. See if we can stun him again. Hopefully it's gonna take this time. There we go. Ooh, man. That was a tough drowner. What is that over there? Devourers. 
Hmm. Have we seen those yet? Giant centipede. Huh. I just want to get a closer look at these guys. I don't want to fight them. Yeah, let's bubble up and get a closer look here. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> These things are hideous. Oh, man. They kind of look like trolls, female trolls. Huh. Yeah, mixed between a bird, a female troll, and a witch, it looks like. I guess there's some sort of undead creature. Cow guard, huh? They must be really proud of their cow. Prize winning cow. Alright. That must be a quest later. Hopefully there's a path through here. No? Huh. Okay. So don't come into village if you want to go through town. You get stuck here. Uh, is there a way out back here? Oh no. <laughs> I gotta backtrack all the way. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay, I was wondering if those pumpkins were gatherable, but they're not. Hoping to make some pumpkin pie. Yep. Good music. Good music, this act. Alright. Got a bit of a jog back here. Oh god. The monkey's back. Alright, where is she? Girl? Ah, oh, she's just... Has no parents, I guess. Let her stay out all hours of the night if she does have parents. All right. Let's talk. I have your necklace. Splendid. Now your reward. I'll grant you a book on the Vodianoi. The Earth Rune, or I'll treat your wounds whenever you need. Hmm. I'll take the Earth Rune. I'd like the Earth Rune. The Earth Rune. A gift for a true warrior. Yeah. Take this token as a memento. The amulet will protect you from drowners. Okay. Hmm. Let's check out this Earth Rune she gave us. Uh, let's see here. Uh, weapon upgrade. Hmm. Silver blades. Okay. Not sure how many of those I have. She gave me a necklace as well. Where's that? I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't really have a necklace slot. Maybe I'm just wearing it without having to do anything. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I must have stored my runes at the inn because I don't see them in my inventory. I've got these, but they're temporary. 
So, yeah, I don't know. Well, that was a nice little introduction to chapter four. Monkey. Monkey. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys for the next episode. Oh, it looks like there are fireflies or something hovering around us here. Huh. This magical sparks in the air or something. I don't know. Alright. I'll see you guys for the next episode. Later.